This video is about list values. I'm going to click on the brown box called list values. Then I'm going to pick out a list. I'm going to pick the one called value. Here you see the list called value. It says at the top here it has 10,000 values. They are at all set 0 through 9,999. You can see here at offset 0, the value is 0. Offset 1 is 0, 2 is 0, and so forth. They're all 0 right now. What I'm going to do is start entering values in there. I'm going to enter a 1, and then hit the arrow down, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, a 7, an 8, a 9, and a 10. Now you can see the 10 is at offset 9. There are the 10 values I entered. As I entered each value, it showed it in this box here. I'm going to go back to the first one. And look, the cursor is sitting there on the 1. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. When the number is placed here and the offset is 0, it is also placed at offset 0. If I wanted this number to be negative, I would hit the minus key. Now the number is negative. It also shows here that it's negative. If I wanted it to be positive, I would press the plus key. Now it's a positive number again. If I wanted it to be a decimal number and have just one decimal place, I would hit the letter A in lower case, A. Now this number has one decimal place, it's 0.6. If that were a lower case B, it would be 0.56. If it was a lower case C, it would be 123.456. If we want to take the C away, we simply hit the space bar. If this number is really bigger than that, I could hit a capital A to make there be one more zero at the end. Here it doesn't show the zero, but it does show the A, capital A, meaning there's another zero. Over here, it actually entered the additional zero. Well, let's go do a capital B. Now, it added two zeros. And if I go a capital C, there are three zeros. Now again, I'll hit the space bar to take it away. Now it's back to being 123,456. If I decide I don't want the 4 to be in the number, I can I put the cursor there and press delete. If I want the 4 to come back, I want it to be after the 3, so I hit insert. And I press the 4 to bring it back. So now it's back to 123,456. Now I can copy these 10 values and place them somewhere else. To do that, I need to highlight this one till it's green, and it already is green, and then go to the last one I want in the list to be copied, and press it, and you notice they're all at green now. I go up here and say I want to copy them. Then I'll go down here to offset 50, highlight that until it's green. I do that by clicking it again and again until it's the green color. Then I come up here and paste is highlighted. I click paste and now those numbers are also down here. So you can copy them into green and then paste to green. Also, we can zero out these numbers. 
I highlight this one until it turns red. Then I go to the last one. It's red. Now, up here, it says I can zero them. So I'm going to click zero. They've all become zero. But they also have been put in the area for red, such that if I would come down here at 20 and click on 20 until it is red and say paste, those that I deleted are now here. All right. I didn't really want them there, so I can just highlight the last one and zero them back out again. If you would want to put these numbers in another list or in the list of another application, you can store these numbers, all 10 of them, on the hard drive. So I click store. Now here it says retrieve has 10 values in it. Well, they're the 10 values that we have saved under red. So if I would go down here, highlight here, make it red, I can retrieve the 10. There, I retrieved them. And again, I could be in any subprogram of any application because they were stored on the hard drive. Alright, that's the end of the lesson about list values.